Hello, I'm here to talk to you about the Internet of Things. A pretty serious thing today. Okay? Think of all the devices you have around you getting really smart and connected to the Internet. What does that mean? It means everything that's going to get informed. You're going to know what's going on in your house every time of the day. So home automation systems will let you know when people walk into your house, when your light comes on, or in the factory. Our cars will get manufactured in the speed of light. This is a serious business. And for us, we see a great opportunity. We see a way to connect legacy devices. Remember those old devices you had in your house that you never planned to get them connected to the internet? We have a solution for that. We're going to connect things like rocks, spoons, sand actually, to the internet. We've created a protocol called the Zcoco. And Zcoco is a common application program. So we've been trying to look at uh, different objects that we have, um, things that are in our daily lives, and see how they interact with um, the world around them. And this is when we discovered uh, that every object has a very unique uh, way to disrupt matter around it. Uh, we call it uh, air fractal disruption. So this AFD um, uh, phenomena, uh, we can use it and harvest that unique uh, disruption um, and then uh, add our own signature to it and broadcast it back. And this allows us to immediately pinpoint a specific object in space and get state for it. Uh, we created then an open standard uh, that we call the ZCOCO. It's for common connection. And this allows us to then pretty much get a state from any object you can think of, whether it's a rock, whether it's uh, a pencil, uh, it doesn't matter at this point. Uh, which really opens a world of possibilities. For a while now, we've been talking about the Internet of Things, and we've been examining how objects interact with each other and the world around them. We started exploring different ways to bring those objects uh, into a way that they could interact with our platform in general. Um, we noticed that a lot of things aren't necessarily connected. Um, Objects aren't inherently smart, for example. Um, so we started focusing on the differences between those objects. How could we harness those differences and bring them into a way that they could be connected? Um, and then we discovered a new model. Um, and this new model focuses on all kinds of, of objects, like this rock here, for example, which is obviously, as you can see, still a rock. Um, we have this plant here and this plaque. And, and then we discovered something really exciting, something that the engineers are really ranting about, and it's called z -Coco. We first noticed the air fractal disruption in individual objects by using these frambulation antennae. But we discovered after further investigation that the same patterns in objects were much more easily detectable using these handy circuits. These circuits can collect the data from each object and transform it into a customizable Z Coco signal, uh, along with the ability to add your own customizable header with your own personal signature. Using that, you can take one of these stickers, put it on your object, and then it will connect immediately to the server, telling you exactly which object it's reporting data for. For instance, this one is still a rock. 